Philippine Information Agency, Katihan, Nazambuanga. Sharing with you timely, accurate, and relevant information regarding government programs, projects, and activities. Catch us every Thursday at 4 p.m. on eMedia. Buenos dias, Zamboanga! Welcome sa PIA Kapiana na Zamboanga sa SM City Mintro. Hatid ng Philippine Information Agency, Mindanao Communicators Network, Mindanao Cable Television, SM City Mintro, and E-Media. Mapapanood po ninyo ng live ang ating programa sa PIA Western Mindanao Facebook page and other government agencies' Facebook pages. including PRO9, The Norte News Flash, One TV Philippines, Isa TV Channel 17, PCH Cable TV and Via Cable Televisions in Zamboanga City at MCTV and E-Media. Muli po ang Kapihanan na Zamboanga will discuss important topics that will help you make more informed decisions wherever you are. Pag-uusapan po natin ngayon sa ating episode po ngayong linggo ang patungkol naman po sa celebration ngayong month of October. No, Actually, it's an observance also for the Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Kaya naman, i-welcome po natin muli sa ating programa from the Department of Health, we have Dr. Rolando Dilental Bukoy. Welcome, Doc. Buenas a todos. Ayan, buenas po, Doc. Marami po tayong ginugunita no, during month of October. So, isa na po dito yung ating Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Gano'n ba ito kahalagang pag-usapan? Actually, annually din pinag-uusapan natin to Nagkakaroon tayo ng mga awareness programs. And then, of course, iniimbitahan din natin yung Department of Health sa ating mga programa because we want to educate people on this. Kasi ito nga iisa rin sa mga pro no, or isa ba? Siguro later on pag-uusapan natin, isa ba talaga ito sa mga Um, number one causes no ng sa, na, number one sick na sakit po dito sa Zamboanga Peninsula or even sa buong bansa po. So, Doc, welcome po sa ating program. Um, ito po muna siguro um, specific challenges po, Doc, no, na nakikita natin on facing, especially for women, on facing breast cancer or yung pag-detect din po ng breast cancer. Yes. One of the problems dito sa breast cancer or one of the uh, incidents are rising or increasing and the problems the challenges that we encounter is that some women do not have access to work, uh, to services offering breast cancer screening they have some of them tend to consult the local albulario first before seeing a physician some of them may suffer from fear of what that Um, abnormality they felt on their breast so they delay consultation others will have problems in terms of financial they are afraid that um, they will be spending a lot if they consult or they will be operated on and one other another factor is probably that some of the health centers the one on the nurse on duty there is a, a male so Um, for those, some, there were some women who will not really go to have their breast examined. Do we have limited access po ba, Doc, on mga, yun, yung mga resources natin, especially on detecting and sa treatment po ng breast cancer? First, sa uh, detecting, it's very, not as, not, let's say, very easy. Almost, let's say, we can say it, it's easy to diagnose because we encourage women to do self-breast examination. I'll be explaining this later on. Self-examination, if they do this, they can already feel some or see some abnormalities in their breast. If they're afraid or they have no idea on this, is um, we also train the health workers. You know? Everybody in the health center is trained on how to do self-breast examination so that when they do some house visits, they can examine their clients, then refer them to proper authorities. I think, Pudok, no... Um We have siguro mga information materials na information education materials on how to detect no check no sa ating mga personally you check po yung ating how you yung proper way of checking ng ating mga breast para makita natin kung may bukol ba para yung some abnormalities nga na na iba no para makita natin agad ma-detect natin agad if kailangan na natin mag-seek ng help yes. sa physician. Doc, how has the incidence po of breast cancer in Zamboanga Peninsula po in Region 9 changed over the past few years? And what are the factors contributing po sa pag-increase ba or dito sa trend po ng sa breast cancer? Sa trend, it has increased. 
increase in the sense that we have now more physicians in Sabuanga City. Um, access to to be examined has increased and aside from that, we have already the cancer center, Sabuanga City Medical Center. All medicines for cancer patients are free, are supposed to be free and they also have funds there to help clients. And aside from that, um, we constantly remind the public through our um, partners at the LGU, the City Health Office, to encourage women to come out, to help themselves check. No? That's why next month, October, we have the Pink October Walk. This is done every year. Women would Women are the majority participants with the pink ribbon, raising awareness against cancer, especially breast cancer. Actually, during that period din po, no, sa ating Pinktober, we have mga breast cancer... Testimonies. Yes, testimonies. Yung mga survivors yes. natin, breast cancer survivors. So that they can also share paano nga yung kanilang naging journey and how they over they overcame po yes. yung ano, breast cancer. Ano po yung uh, culturally sensitive approaches po? Uh, is the DOH uh, taking po to encourage breast cancer awareness among indigenous communities po natin? Um, the po Department yun? of Health, in coordination with City Health and other government agencies, we are very aware of this. That's why we prefer or we usually hire health workers in a certain area, certain tribe, to be of that area or somebody who speaks their vernacular, their language, so that people in that area will be comfortable to approach. They will be open because it's somebody they know who is familiar to them, who can speak to them. So that's one way. And so go, another is to engage with the local leaders to help them assist, you know, to disseminate, na, do not be ashamed or afraid to uh, come forward if you have feeling some, if some problems. Doc, pwede po ba or possible po ba na magkaroon din ng breast cancer ang mga male? Incidents of male breast, uh, it is possible, but it's, it is not that common. That's why we do not have advocacy on breast cancer sa male population. For males, we prefer to do the advocacy on prostate cancer, colon, or lung cancer. Thank you po, Doc. How, how about po, um, how does yung DOH po utilizing local healthcare workers po natin or mga barangay health, health centers natin to increase po yung ating screening on breast cancer or breast screening natin? Ble uh, breast cancer screening could be done at home. All they have to do is, to the health worker is to teach, no? because information is very important. The more they know, so much the better because they will be conscious of their health. So breast cancer can be done at home. And one of the advices that if you feel something different or something is wrong, feel free to approach us and we will help you. So can it occur talaga po, Doc, anytime? Anytime. No, we cannot predict that it will uh, occur at a certain month, uh, age, yes. or yes, not. No, age any. Anytime. Uh, earlier po, no, before the program, I asked, ano po yung youngest case natin na nagkaroon po ng breast cancer? Maybe in Zamp Zampen po. I know, Sikura, I think it's 21 or 22. Yes. Pro by the age of 22 years old po, nagkaroon. Case like oh, that, oh. pero um, it was stage one, so okay. early intervention. Oh, oh. So, may intervention agad na nagawa. What role po yung ating mga traditional beliefs naman? Practices play in the delay of diagnosis or treatment. Kanina, you mentioned no, na sometimes our um, public or yung ating patient tend to go muna sa mga albularyo, sa mga ano nila instead of going to the doctor. So how does this po delay po yung ating diagnosis or yung treatment natin? Not only sa albularyo, some women or some clients would prefer to 
no, they would rather do that traditional. Mga herbs. Ah, yes. Mga herbal. No, yes, using herbal medicine. I will visit the doctor later on. In the meantime, I will take this. I cannot mention because it's some of these herbs are sold publicly, commercially. They are what? So they tend to take these things. No? Certain drinks, certain diet. Um, the, and if it's that, if it's malignant, you really have to consult a doctor because it, it, it will really spread. Drinking all these herbs will not help. Yeah, so yun nga. So at least no, we can advise the people na it's not really advisable talaga. So maybe kapag meron na po tayong naramdaman, seek agad, no? Seek um, the assistance or help po from the physician. Because it is preventable, it can be cured at the early stage. Yeah. Baka yun po yung stigma, no? Na baka they are afraid stigma, po once they... Stigma, fear not properly educated yes. on Brazil. How about po yung ating mga financial? Siguro isa din sa mga ano, fear po ng ating mga patient is that yung availability of financial assistance because when they hear of cancer, siguro isipin nila the treatment will be expensive. So, paano po yung ating mga financial assistance? That's usually the notion. But Sambuanga City Medical Center, their cancer center, they help the patients a lot in terms of and it is also mandated by the Department of Health that medicines for cancer patients, not only for breast cancer, should be free. So they have a big budget to provide medicines, also big budget to provide assistance aside from the medicines. No? The Department of Health, we also provide to augment. It's not, it's not enough, but at least we try to augment. Aside from that, we have at present a lot of from the Department of Health, we have the MAI program, the medical assistance for indig uh, indigent people, malasakit, and we have some party list group like the Kusug Tausug and some other agencies like Saban Samoro. And I think there's one more from a senator. They extend help to anybody with who needs help. Does our facilities po, can cater po the yes. number of patients? Uh, for example, not only Sambuanga City Medical Center, private hospitals in Sambuanga City, if they have a MOA with Sambuanga City Medical Center, they can assist, uh, Sambuanga City Medical Center can assist them. And with the Department of Health, with a memorandum of agreement, the, under the MAI program, they can charge their clients under the MAI program so that, that the office will take care of the expenses. Okay. Doc, what are the steps po being taken to ensure that breast cancer patients po in Zampen receive comprehensive post-treatment support including mental health? Yun po, no? Kasi syempre na-affect din yung mental health po ng ating mga patients when they know they have cancers. So, ano po yung other wellness programs also that we can provide? For example, sa Sambuanga Medical Center, I'll just call uh, example sa kanila, no? Because of the cancer center, when their approach to patients is holistic. So, aside from that, they also be, uh, take in consideration that if the client is from the provinces, so they work in coordination with CSWD and DSWD so that the client has a place where to stay while undergoing sample chemotherapy with the family, etc. Aside from that, they also have other services at the Samonga City Medical Center. For example, in pain, they have the traditional alternative um, who can help alleviate the pain in terms of um, acupuncture and uh, acupressure. Okay. Doc, do we have ano po, part partners po, or are we partnering with um, private hospitals or NGOs po natin to enhance po yung ating breast cancer awareness campaign or advocacy? With some NG uh, for in terms of partners, usually with private hospitals. Like a few years ago, um, Private hospitals, by the way, they have their also their own way of um, spreading awareness on breast cancer. A few years ago in Ciudad Medical, 
si Dr. Filipina Rojas. She conducted that barattling. I don't know. I forgot what they call it. I think it's like spice up your bra. It was a tremendous success. And I mean, awareness on breast cancer alone, it has an impact. So that was very, I mean, laudable. That's why the Department of Health, we have plans Guru, to coordinate with her next year to at least revive it for the, for the second time around. Yes, maybe we can top nga yung ating mga private hospitals yes. so that mas malawak yung scope natin, not only in Zamboanga City Medical Centers or sa ating mga public, yung mga ating mga health, health centers in yeah. barangays. The more people involved, the better. Yes, that's true po. Doc, ito kasi hindi naman talaga natin may iwasan. No? We cannot avoid that there are patients na um, delayed yung pag ano sa kanila pag screen no delayed delayed nila nalaman yung kanilang um, breast cancer so ano po yung strategies are in place to catch up with delayed treatment and delayed screening uh, before that that delay we also have certain groups religious uh, group wherein they you cannot do blood transfusion no so most of the time or all of the time clients with that religion they do not undergo anymore because um, it is against the religious belief to transfuse blood and for those with delay usually we provide palliative treatment supportive uh, against pain and any suffering that a client will at least the client will have a peaceful I mean yes, during the remaining years, uh, days or months. Thank you, Doc. Doc, ito for clarification lang, um, if ever po the uh, public no up to visit ating mga health centers, is it free po yung ating mga screening, everything po, is it free po that we provide for... Sa health center, they can do the manual breast exam. The a barangay health worker, the midwife, the nurse, or the physician can do that or they can teach the client to do it herself so that she can do it every month if she wants to at home. Then if further, for example, something, they felt something present or say any changes in the breast, they will refer the client for usually it's mammography. Yes. Uh, with uh, they can get it they can ask for assistance a social worker in the hospitals to help them with the mammography at least to determine then another step is if it's a mass biopsy to know if it's malignant or not then that's where the and if it's malignant or the physician would notice that it uh for need, he need the patient needs further consultation Usually, the patient is referred to an oncologist, cancer specialist. But is it free po ba yung process, Doc? Or depende po kung... Sa health center, hospital? although while it's free, if they refer it to Sambuanga City Medical Center, it can be charged to MAIP program or other government assistance in that hospital. The cancer center in Sambuanga City, they help the patient. They can provide those. And I think, I believe po, pag um, meron tayong mga sa indigenous community, yes. oh, they are free, no? They can access po yung ating mga health services for free sa ating mga public hospitals. Doc, with that po, lastly na lang, Doc, what uh, what should we ano po, prepare, no? Kapag ano po yung mga tips natin on how to avoid having breast cancer, ano po yung mga pwede nating maiwasan so that if ever po hindi na hindi na tayo maka hindi, hindi tayo mabigla no just in case po kapag may ano tayo may makita na or ma ma diagnose o oh, ma diagnose tayo na may breast cancer so for uh, ladies out there for self breast examination they can stand in front of the mirror remove their upper clothing the bra first uh, they may stretch their, extend their both arms behind their ne uh, head and compare the sizes of their breasts. No? Make sure not one, they should see if there are any lumps 
mga bukol and all those things. If they still cannot, uh, not satisfied, they can lie down. For example, if they plan initially to examine their left breast, so the left arm will be placed under their head, while the, red, the right hand will start examining the left breast. In examining, we encourage them to use the tips of their fingers. They can do it circular around the breast, going towards the center, or going up, going down from left to right. No? So what, is, what are the things they should watch out? Any sudden or particular mass in the breast, inversion of the nipples, the nipples are pointed inwards, any discharges in the nipple if they press or express it, pain, um, patches of red patches or rashes in their breast, all of a sudden they see these things, and skin dimpling, wherein they would press the, a part of the breast and it remains submerged. I mean, the, it doesn't go back to normal. So these are just some of the abnormalities that will give them the sign that something is wrong with in the breast. Message po, Doc, sa mga, for those who still have stigma or fear when it comes to breast cancer po. Especially, again, those with family history of breast cancer, do not be afraid to, if you're afraid to examine your, your breast because you might discover something, so consult your physician, somebody at the health center or your workplace. Do not be afraid because early diagnosis is best for you. And early diagnosis, we stay, uh, it can be cured. Medical services, the medicines are free at the cancer center. Doc, tama po naman no, na parang breast cancer is one of the most curable, no? Na yes. Upon early of, detection. Oh, oh, yes. Thank you very much, Doc, for your time. Thank you for this opportunity po for us to educate po, no, uh, the public, especially the women, no, na vulnerable for breast cancer. And with that po, again, let's um, come together and celebrate po together, no, and observe po and advocate breast cancer awareness for the not only for the month of october but every day po every year talaga no we every day uh we need to advocate and we need to educate po uh the people regarding breast cancer awareness thank you very much po. Welcome. once again from department of health po ang ating panauhin we have a dr rolando lilental bukoy medical officer po from doh in region 9 thank you very much po sa lahat po na ating mga viewers and of course magkita-kita pa tayo sa mga susunod nating episodes po at mapag-usapan po natin ang mga iba't ibang mga halagang impormasyon po para po sa ating publiko. And with that, thank you very much also to the following sponsors. We have Blanca Kalintika, Estetica Zamboanga, Karimadon, Camiseta, Penguin, and Dunkin, all available here at SMCT Minpro. Ito si Mayra Espinosa. See you po sa ating mga susunod pang kapihan. Muchisimas gracias. Philippine Information Agency, Kapihan, Nazambuanga. Sharing with you timely, accurate, and relevant information regarding government programs, projects, and activities. Catch us every Thursday at 4 p.m. on eMedia.